Hey everyone, did you know that you can play PlayStation 3 games on a Mac? So this is the PlayStation 3 emulator called RPCS3 and this allows you to play PlayStation 3 games on Apple Silicon hardware. And in this video today, what I'm going to do is to show you the entire process of how to get this to work. So we're going to be downloading RPCS3. We're going to be setting up with the latest PlayStation 3 firmware. I'm going to show you how to do things like tweak resolution settings. And we're going to get some of our favorite PS3 games working like Tekken Tag Tournament 2, which manages to run really well even on the base M3 MacBook Air. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the rpcs3.net website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And then we're going to press this no piracy, I understand button here. And then we're going to download the Mac version of the emulator. So you can press this button here or you can click on the download button and then we can go down and manually select the Mac OS version of the emulator. So click on download here. And once that's downloaded, we're going to go to Finder and Downloads and then double click on the RPCS3 DMG, which we just downloaded. Then we're going to drag and drop this into the Applications folder and then that will install it onto the computer. And then we're going to go to Applications. And then if we scroll down on this list until we find RPCS3, then we can go ahead and double click on this now. Here it's saying that RPCS3 is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Press Open. So next we have this welcome screen here. So there is a button here to open up the quick start guide, which is going to go through some of the steps that we're going to go through today. What we're going to do is to click, I have read the quick start guide and then press continue. And now the emulator has opened up. So the next thing that we need to do is to install the firmware. So what I'm going to do is to leave a link in the description for the PlayStation website where the PS3 system software update is available to download. We're going to be downloading the 4.90, which is the very latest at the time recording. And then we want to use this button here, update using a computer. And then we have a link here which says download PS3 update. So just click on that. If you have any trouble downloading it, if you have any trouble clicking the button, you can always control click and then open the link in the new tab and it should download. So this is the file that we want, ps3updat.pup. That's the one that we're interested in. So once that file has completed, it's only 200 megabytes, we can go ahead and install the firmware. So within RPCS3, we're going to focus on this window, then click on file and then install firmware. And then within the install firmware, we're going to go to our download and then we're going to select the ps3updat.pup, then press open. So that's installing 4.90. This is now successfully installed, then press OK. So it's saying here that PPU modules are being compiled. Just wait for this to finish. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and add some games. So I'm not going to show you where to acquire games from. You should really be doing this from a jailbroken PlayStation 3, or you can find the ROMs online quite easily. The format of these games are basically these kind of unpacked folders. What we're going to do is test out one of my favorites, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, and it comes in this kind of file format here. There's a PS3 underscore game, and then we want to load up the folder here. So I'm going to press open on RPCS3 and then navigate to the folder where we're going to keep our games. And then we want to find Tekken Tag Tournament. In the root of that folder with the SFB file and then the PS3 underscore game folder, I'm going to press open. And then that's automatically loaded up. So it's got the entry here. And then this is configuring at the moment. So in order to play PlayStation games, I do recommend using some kind of PlayStation style controller. So I've got my DualSense controller here. You can also use an Xbox controller or any other kind of compatible controller and just go ahead and go to Bluetooth settings and then pair it up. And then within the RPCS3 settings, we're going to go to pads on handlers. We're going to go to DualSense, select DualSense, and then it's automatically detected. We have the DualSense pad one here. So press save. So anyway, once the PPU modules have been compiled, we are ready to play the game with our controller. So once the games SPU, catch, etc. have all been compiled, then we're ready to play the game. So just be aware, it's going to be a bit stuttery until the shaders have been compiled. And now we're going to use a controller to continue playing the game. So we're going to press the X button. It's going to install game data. This will depend on the game that you're using. So we're going to continue and then it's going to create some game data. And now we're ready to play. So if you want to know about customization, um, this is rendering at 720p. If you want to change the resolution, just control click on the game and then click create custom configuration. And under GPU, what you want to do is to tweak the resolution scale. So don't change the default resolution. We want this to scale up. So let's say we put this at 150%, that'll put this at 1080p. You can put it higher as well. If you want it at 4K, that'll be 300%. But that's going to put it down to 1080p and then press save custom configuration and then just go ahead and reload the game. So just reload this for 1080p. And basically you'll find that this is running at 720p, but if we full screen this, this will run at 1080p. So this is the metal HUD. If you want to figure out how to actually load this up, you can click on the link in the description for my tutorial video. So now anyway, this is how you get PlayStation 3 games like Tekken Tag Tournament 2 working on your Apple Silicon Mac. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Round two.